Okay, let's have a quick look at um, unit two, chapter 2.20a. Now this one's global colours from the workbook, but it's really quite different on the iPad. And thanks to Paul Muddit for pointing me in the right direction, I could not find this option because there's no reference in, in the iPad to adding global colours. Not even in the help file. But you can add colours to the swatches. So if you have a colour you want to add, and you can see in the selected circle down here that I have a colour in there. Now let's go and find out how to do it. You would think it would be in colours, but no. Nope. It's under swatches. And you can see then if you tap colours under swatches, there's gradients, colours, greys, recent colours, things like that. So what you want to do is add your own palette. And it's up there. Add that. Tap the hamburger. That's up there, of course. Tap the hamburger. Add an application palette. Now I'm presuming this means an app the application of Affinity Designer. We're going to add a palette that's accessible no matter what document you're doing. At the moment, it's unnamed. Over there, see? Unnamed. But we want to rename it. Let's call it, rename it. Let's call it, my, my palette. I obviously can't talk while I'm typing. Now, there's nothing in the palette. But we want to put something in. We've got that colour down there selected and we've got that tone just perfect. So we go back to the hamburger. We're still on my palette. You haven't selected colours. You've selected my palette and there's nothing in it. The colour is still selected. Go to the hamburger. Add current fill to palette. That's the fill down there. And there it is there. So whatever that is there is what's in there. Let's highlight that and apply it. There you go. It's slightly different, but nonetheless, there it is. Now, because it's a colour that's been, uh, that, that's had the, um, had the gradient applied to it. Sorry about the little pause there. I'm trying to turn a page here at the same time. So. That's a colour in my palette. Now you want to add another colour. You might actually want to add a colour like that. I've just highlighted next to the little green monster there. Go up there, add current fill to palette. There it is there. Well, not really. I don't know what it's applied there. Let's try the bear. And that part there. Add current fill to palette. You're on my palette. I don't know what's happening there. Add current fill to palette. There we go. Let's drop that in. It's certainly behaving strangely. Get the body, get the arm, there's the colour. Go back to where we were. My palette. Add colour fill to palette and there it is. So yeah, it, it wasn't selecting because I didn't have the I didn't have the correct curve selected. There we go. The ellipse. Is that part there? Go back to colours, go to my palette. Add the current fill, which we're looking at there. Add current fill to palette, and there it is there. Now, if we go down to where we were and select that, we can apply the green to that one. If we select that one, we can apply the pink to that one. 
The point being that you can see in there, in your palette, you might have colours there, you might have gradients there, you might have my palette there, and you know the colour you want is in my palette, because it may have been a colour you've selected from something else entirely. And there's lots of artboards on this, as you can see. It's the example artboard. So, back from swatches, you start off in colour. Colour. Go to swatches. And you're in my palette there, or you want to add a new palette, you go up there. You add an application palette, or add a document palette. You can rename the palette, or remove the palette altogether. Or you can add your current fill to the current palette you're using. And that should be it.